The year is 2025. As autumn leaves fall, a strange stillness settles over Europe. Forecasters warn of a winter that will test the continent's resilience. This isn't just another cold season. It's a deep freeze that will be remembered for generations. Imagine waking up in Berlin or Warsaw, hushed, blanketed in white, the crunch of boots on snow. Siberian cold and a frozen Baltic Sea will combine to create a winter Europe hasn't seen in decades. The deep freeze is coming, and Europe will never forget it. The Baltic Sea, almost landlocked and low in salt, is uniquely vulnerable to freezing. In a typical winter, only the far north ices over. But this year, a persistent high-pressure system over Scandinavia and Russia blocks Atlantic warmth. Frigid Siberian air pours in, and the temperature stays far below freezing for weeks. The process is slow and silent. Ice forms in the north, then creeps south, sealing gulfs and islands, reaching the coasts of Poland and Germany. For the first time in decades, the Baltic becomes a solid, frozen plain. The consequences are immense. Shipping grinds to a halt, ports fall silent, and regional economies feel the shock. Only powerful icebreakers can attempt to carve a path through the thick ice. The frozen sea also changes the weather. Without the sea's warmth, coastal areas become even colder. The ice reinforces the deep freeze, amplifying the cold across northern Europe. Nature's patient work has built a bridge of ice where ships once sailed. The frozen Baltic is both a marvel and a menace. It's a reminder of how quickly the familiar can become extraordinary. Trade, travel and daily life are all transformed. The sea of ice is a symbol of this winter's power. It's a rare event, one that will be studied and remembered. The Baltic's transformation is a warning. When nature shifts, everything changes. The deep freeze is not just on land, but at sea, and its impact will be felt far beyond the shoreline. The source of this extraordinary cold is Siberia. In winter, the land radiates heat into space, creating the Siberian High, a vast dome of frigid air. Normally, westerly winds keep this cold locked away. But this year, the jet stream weakens and meanders, opening a corridor for Siberian air to surge west. The beast from the east arrives, dry, biting, relentless. Temperatures plunge 10 to 20 degrees below average. Wind chill makes the cold even more severe. One day is normal. The next, the temperature drops off a cliff. The sun shines, but offers no warmth. The landscape sparkles under frost, but the cold is a silent threat. This is not the damp chill of a typical European winter. It's a dry, arctic cold that freezes everything it touches. The arrival is dramatic and sudden. Europe is unprepared for the severity. The Siberian winter has arrived, and it's here to stay. The continent braces for the full force of the east wind. Extreme cold tests, modern life at every level. Cities slow down, transportation falters as diesel gels, trains stall and airports close. The intricate network connecting Europe begins to break down. Daily routines vanish. Survival becomes the focus. People bundle up, schools close, and energy demand soars, straining power grids. Power outages become dangerous realities. Water pipes freeze and burst, homes grow cold. Nature suffers too. Animals struggle, birds can't find water, and marine life is trapped by the frozen Baltic. The ecosystem is stressed to its limits. Economies take a hit, construction halts, supply chains break, and energy prices skyrocket. Insurance claims for weather damage surge. The cold snap exposes the fragility of our systems. It's a costly reminder of our dependence on stable weather. The deep freeze is a shock to society and nature alike. Europe is forced to adapt quickly. The lesson is clear. Resilience is not optional. The cold reveals just how vulnerable we are. This isn't Europe's first great freeze. The Great Frost of 1683-84 saw the Thames freeze solid, 
hosting fairs on the ice. The big freeze of 1962-63 blanketed the continent for months, disrupting life and killing unprepared plants and trees. The Little Ice Age brought centuries of severe winters, advancing glaciers and freezing seas. These events shaped history, causing famines, migration, and even war. They remind us that Europe's climate has always been variable. Extreme cold is rare, but it's a recurring feature. Past winters show our vulnerability and our resilience. People found ways to cope, from fairs on rivers to new ways of staying warm. Studying history helps us prepare for the future. Nature's power is timeless and always demands respect. With a severe winter looming, preparation is vital. At home, insulation and serviced heating systems are essential. Prevent frozen pipes by insulating or letting taps drip. Stock up on blankets, food, water and emergency supplies. For travel, keep a kit with a shovel, blanket and charged phone. Dress in layers, multiple thin ones trap heat best. Governments must ready snow plows, gritters and energy supplies. Power companies prepare for surges and outages. Public health services brace for cold-related illnesses and protect the vulnerable. Clear communication and timely warnings are crucial. Public campaigns teach people how to stay safe. Preparation is about practical steps, not panic. Facing the cold together builds resilience. This cold snap isn't random. It's tied to the polar vortex high above the Arctic. Normally, strong winds keep the cold locked up north, but sometimes atmospheric waves disrupt the vortex, causing a sudden stratospheric warming. The vortex weakens, letting Arctic air spill south. This opens the door for the beast from the east. Paradoxically, a warming event in the stratosphere leads to a surface cold snap. Some scientists link a warming Arctic to a weaker vortex. Melting sea ice exposes dark ocean, absorbing more heat and creating more atmospheric waves. This could mean more frequent, intense cold snaps in a warming world. The science is still evolving, but one thing is clear. Climate change brings volatility, not just warmth. Europe must prepare for both extremes. The polar vortex is a key player in our winter fate. How can a record cold snap happen in a warming world? The answer lies in the difference between climate and weather. Climate is the long-term trend, warming globally. Weather is what we feel day to day, sometimes extreme in any direction. A single cold winter doesn't disprove climate change. In fact, a warming Arctic may make the jet stream weaker and wavier, allowing cold air to plunge south more often. The result, more unpredictable, chaotic weather. This winter is a wake-up call. We must prepare for both heat waves and deep freezes. Our infrastructure and emergency systems need to handle all extremes. The lesson, climate change means more volatility, not just more heat. The future will be full of surprises. We must build resilience for whatever comes next. As spring returns, Europe reflects on a winter of hardship and learning. The freeze exposed our vulnerabilities, how quickly life can be disrupted. But it also revealed our strength communities came together, neighbors helped neighbors, and resilience emerged. Technology can fail, but human kindness endures. Nature too recovers. As ice retreats, life returns. The winter was a test of survival for all. It's a call to action invest in infrastructure, strengthen communities, and take climate science seriously. We can't control the weather, but we can control our preparedness. The future will bring more challenges, heat, cold, storms. By learning and adapting, we can face them with confidence. The cycles of nature continue, but so does our capacity to endure. This winter's message is clear. Resilience is our greatest resource. The world is changing, but together, we can meet whatever comes. The deep freeze will be remembered, not just for its cold, but for the lessons it taught. 
and for the hope it inspired for a stronger, more united future.